Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from Grape Day 2015 at the Kearney Ag Center in Parlier, California. Grape Day began early with refreshments provided by American Vineyard Magazine, following which growers loaded up into trams to tour the Kearney Ag Center and learn about the current research underway for the benefit of the grape industry. And I'm here with Viticulture Advisor from the UC Cooperative Extension, George Schwang, who talked about bud fruitfulness and measuring that through bud dissection. Uh, by using the bud dissection data, maybe you can give some uh, information about how many uh, kings or how many spurs to leave per vine based on your fruitfulness. So the cluster primordia start to initiate at the year one during the bloom time, then it goes through the, all the winter time until the year two, then you will see the harvest. So uh, the, the, the beauty of the bud dissection is that it's very early information about your uh, potential yield for next year. So you can start to do the bud dissection right after the harvest. So you went to your field after the harvest, take uh, canes, depends on your raisin grapes, or take the spurs, dep depends on your wine grapes. So take all the canes and the spurs back to the lab. Uh, so the only thing you need to do the bud dissection is a microscope, a uh, very good light environment, uh, razor blades, and you just uh, stay there and to do all the bud dissection. So and you start to count how many cluster primordia inside of each nodes. So then you're going to have ideas how many uh, cluster you're going to have uh, for your next year. So it's a very early information. It's going to give you a lot of uh, 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 information about how many cluster you'll have per each king or per each spur. And so it depends on how many kings and spur you'll leave per vine. So you'll have a general idea of how many clusters per vine you will have for your next year. So, and so this can give you some uh, a very good uh, early information about your crop next year. So you're going to have a good crop, less crop. So by doing the bud dissection, you're going to have a general idea like what your crop size is going to be for next year. So uh, if you have any questions, any uh, concerns about how to do the bud dissection, uh, please give me a call. Thank you, George. Research like this that helps us paint a better picture of how crop yields will look in the coming season is worth looking into. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.